Hey squad, what's poppin'? You can't see, but my cat is right here beside me. Do you see her ear? <laughs> so I've been feeling self-conscious since uploading that video where I did Miss Plumbella's challenge because I was like, all of us kind of high-key looked like trash and I was stressed the entire time. So I thought, what if I do another decorating video, but this time with my own rules and regulations. And I was trying to think of my own challenge that hasn't been done yet. Do you remember back when we were in middle school? And when we're, we were in like computer lab classes and we would go to Wikipedia and we'd do that challenge where we would cook on like random article over and over again until we got to the, a specific page. Like you would kind of be racing one of your friends or something. Or is that just me and my weird friends? Possibly. But what if I let Wikipedia random give me an article and I have to do a room inspired somehow by that article? I feel like that would be interesting because not only would that let me learn a little bit about history somehow, possibly but it would give me like a unique kind of challenge that I think could be interesting I'm just curious like what my brain would do with such a broad idea you feel me you feel me here we are on the Wikipedia page let's see what happens Tracy G Welcome to the G Factory Studio. My name is Tracy G. American heavy metal guitarist. I have not heard of this man or his work. So my first thought is I make a bedroom for a heavy metal guitarist with 90s influences. My Taurus ass was not gonna let one challenge that went awry dictate my entire design ability. And I'll just throw in some random little ceiling lights here. Boop, 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 boop. I do have kinds of a vision, but I'm open to whatever happens, you feel me? Okay, well obviously he needs to have a double bed. We all know what happens in the heavy metal musical world in the 90s, right? I think this one is a good option for like a 90s grungy vibe, you know? Wait, what does this guy look like? Oh! <gasps> I idolize him. I love him! No way! He's my hero. That man is my hero. You were looking at my idol and my reason that I live on this planet. The more I'm looking at this picture, the more iconic it gets. <gasps> the loose ponytails on the beard? Go off! So I feel like he's on the road a lot, right? So like maybe he doesn't have completely matching furniture because like he's a straight white male. What straight white male has time to match furniture? It was time consuming, but so worth it. So I can see him having like one roll up nightstand that it's just there for like when he has guests over and then one more proper one on the side. You understand what I'm saying though, right? It's so like this one probably wouldn't have anything on it cause it's just like he might store it like in a closet or something on the side. I think just like a class like wooden moment. Easy access so he can just put this in and out as need be, you know what I'm saying? So this is like his like get up and get dressed in the morning, like just a little extra storage. He doesn't really put anything in here. Maybe he stores like extra musical equipment. This is the one that mainly has all of his clothing and stuff in it. I'm thinking maybe he has this above his dresser. Yeah, that's badass. Ooh, this is a good heavy metal guitarist. I think that he probably would have that like towards the end of his bed. He always has something there in case an idea comes to him in the middle of the night or something. He said that his idol was Simmons, right? So maybe this is a Simmons autograph. Well, he wants it like on display. So maybe he keeps it in the corner so it's like safe, but he can still look at it every morning, kind of like get him hyped for the day, you know? My cat just left me. I think he's a poster guy. Oh yeah, a guitar poster. This is a jazz poster. I'm gonna reluctantly put it here for now. I feel like this could be like a cool band poster. I know it's technically like a cooking thing, but I think it could be like an album cover, you know what I mean? <laughs> this looks very 90s to me, obviously. If somebody gave it to him, he didn't really know where to put it. This is the poster with the cause thing. That looks like an album cover to me. Oh yeah. Don't tell me that it's not like a 90s drunk like down with the man kind of moment. Oh yeah, that's a good one too. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one actually because it doesn't really look like a poster. I like that better. Oh yeah. Are you kidding me? Of course. I think this is like another thing he just kind of slaps up. Like he thought that these were really cool so he got a bunch of them on Etsy or something. Was Etsy a thing in the 90s? I don't think so but we're pretending it is today. Yeah, that's what he did. He did do that. That is a fact. Don't check the article. I know it's there though. I wish there was more of his interest in the article. It's such a small article, but I feel like he is such an icon. Like, did you see that bearded braid moment? Come on. Well, I think he should have a radio. Right there. 
boop, boop. So he do be needing some lighting though. I'm thinking on this side, he just has like a random light there. Again, something that he can just like pull out of his closet for like when need be. Do we do hotel? Yeah, let's do hotel and we can scooch this guy up. Or do we put this, I think we put this above the bed now that I'm looking at it. And right here, I don't know why I'm envisioning kind of just like a, like a chill corner, you know? Like where him and his bandmates can like write some music, just fully, you know, have a straight white male bro moment. The most vital moments in our history. Maybe he has like one couch there and then two kind of just like random chair. Oh yeah, a stool. I could see them having like a stool moment. Like this one, he was like, eh, that's a close enough match, right? And it's like, yeah, sure, I guess. Tracy. Oh, this one came, okay. So this one came with the couch. Like it was like a set. This one he got because like one of his bandmates always had to like stand all the time. Like this is like a nook. And I can see there being like a window there. Yeah. I'm gonna have to install some custom content with later. I'm realizing just like how few curtain options we have. And that's not acceptable. And none of these are giving me like rocker vibes. And trust me, I know all about rocker vibes. Can't you tell? <laughs> we'll just pretend that there's cool grungy curtains right there. Maybe we could pretend this is like an award he got for like an album. Maybe this is another award he got for his album. Ooh, we could do a good like grungy red moment. Oh, I like that one. That's good. Do we put a rug over here too? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. Look at that, bitches. <laughs> I think I'm gonna switch this, put like a light here. And obviously I'll need like a little guitar there as well. This is usually where he sits, right? We could do a microphone. Cool beans. <laughs> That's the door right there. I think he's like, this one is good because it has multiple angles that we can have the lighting going. Maybe we do like that producer's studio. Oh, we could totally throw like a little like karaoke moment in this corner. Yeah, and then that totally fills up that space. And then we have this right here. It's like a random basic office chair. Oh yeah, folding chairs, absolutely. Here, here, maybe even an extra one just like just in case, you know. Maybe we can even put like a little divider moment. That's kind of sick, the purple tint, we love her. Let's actually throw another foldable chair over here too. You know, the guy's always prepared, what can I say? He likes to have it like dark and moody. He can always turn off the brightness on his lights and stuff, of course. Brick, 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 brick. Oh, that just sent tingles through my body. <laughs> I don't even need to look at the other ones. That's, 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 that's her. This is not bad. Cause you know what I wanted? Like a textured moment. Oh, oh, oh. All right. So here's our room. So when you walk in, you get this little like hoarding bro vibe area with his, a few little awards. This is just like where they like start brainstorming some ideas. This is his closet where he can kind of just like throw junk in there as need be. And this is his bed and he has these cool posters he's collected right above it. And of course his favorite guitar right at the end there. Gotta have a radio with some CDs ready for, you know, vibing moments. Here is his own personal dresser with Mr. Simmons' autograph on a guitar that he can look at every day when he wakes up. And here is his little recording area when they can't go to the recording studio for some reason. He's got chairs for all of his bros. I think we've done it. I don't think I did too bad. I feel a lot better because I feel like the last Sims video I put up made me look like I didn't know what I was doing and I had no experience and it was bugging me. So I was like, I'm gonna come back and I'm, go I'm gonna show you who the real queen is. Just kidding, it's not me. It's like Flumbella or Little Sumsy or something. I don't know. And that was a lot of fun. I totally would be down to do that again. If you guys are interested, let me know. I'll probably do it again anyway because it was just fun. If for some reason somebody sees us and wants to do the challenge, you're more than welcome to. It was a lot of fun. I I would love to see like what other people you know could come up with just based on like a random wikipedia article all right i appreciate you spending precious minutes of your life with me today make sure you like subscribe and comment but if you're gonna comment please don't say anything mean because like i'll cry i can't take it i upload every tuesdays and thursdays at 3 p.m est so hope you stick around to see the magical high quality content that i put out you know twice a week we in here we here goodbye love you tracy g call me